Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode, part three actually, of this series I've been doing about winterizing my tiny home, my truck camper, um, within my context of what I need to do to get ready for the Pacific Northwest Seattle Washington winter So thanks so much for joining me again If you haven't checked out part one and part two I highly suggest you go and check those videos out and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification next to it So you're able to be notified of part four if there happens to be one I think there will be we'll see how much we can fit into this video So without further ado, let's dive right in Otter's ready to go And I'll show you guys what I've been up to since last time you saw me on part three all right, you guys, so this is the back of my camper, as you can see. And as we walk in, if you were here for part three, or part two, excuse me, you'll probably notice a change right away, which is that big old block right there. And what I ended up doing with that is building this as a nether level for Otter to climb up those stairs into the bed. So this slides over and it goes right there. Right now I have it set up with my computer so I'm editing video and uh, doing some job stuff, work stuff on the computer currently. So that's why the chair's there. But uh, so right now he can jump down. But I used to have dachshunds and the vet was telling me that you gotta be careful of their back. So, oh, this thing's heavy. Hang on. So it goes that way or it goes long way. See, he's showing you how it works. So he can go that way and that way it's easy on his back. And so as you can see, that works out really great. The other thing that I did, which I'll try to show you with one hand here, is I built this in such a way so it opens up so I could utilize the space. So in there I have a bunch of paints and I have my gesso. And so I get to use this as a little storage compartment too. And like I said, it fits long ways this way, and then it fits long ways this way. And then there's still room, I've got it all measured out so I can open this up, get to my dirty clothes. I can easily get to that cabinet as well. And then it adds just that extra layer to be considered of otter. Um, okay, buddy, watch out. I don't wanna step on you, good boy. Uh, so the other thing I did that you didn't see me do was I cleaned out all of this all my work stuff in here I got a garbage right now over here, and then I got a bunch of um, Squash as you can see a whole bunch of my foods got my juicer which I take out and I use that quite a bit I picked up a spice rack which I got to clean that up. I'm probably gonna replace the spices in there I got it at a garage sale for next to nothing. So I don't know how old that, those are So I'm gonna collect new spices, but I just buy the spices that are in the bags and they're like so much cheaper and they're good spices and I use those so this needs to be cleaned up some more i've been kind of just throwing stuff on there but you know it gets the job done i got the stove down here the electric stove that you saw me fix up i think in part one of this and so got the spice rack in like i said um over here i got all my supplements that i use my teas i usually have this stocked with chips because i do this really awesome medicinal salsa that i'll show you guys in some other videos over here, of course, my coconut, my vegan coconut organic oil mm. and uh, coconut cream or milk. And let's see, organic extra virgin olive oil. Good stuff, whole bunch of beans and lentils. So this is, I'm stocking this up with like emergency food. Got that all cleaned out. It's clearly not done. Oh yeah, you guys look at what else I put up. So I have a bunch of stainless steel Ooh, piece of leaf. Come down, little buddy. I have a bunch of stainless steel that I'm going to be putting all over here as a backdrop. And then this opens up right here to a vent that goes outside. And then that opens up and it creates a draft and I can cook right here. But uh, since I'm not going to be putting in that stainless steel for a minute because I'm so focused on other stuff, I went ahead and attached my magnet so I can have all my knives there. And I'm missing two knives. Well, one I'm gonna work on, I just picked it up for free and it's gonna be a sweet knife. Um, but yeah, that works out really nice, it's super great. Up here I just have a bunch of work stuff. So as you can see, I've gotten a lot done but there's still more to go and that's what this video is gonna be about is 
taking care of a few more of these uh, things that I got to get done on this tiny home. And it would be nice to be able to get the whole water system up and rolling, but where I'm parked right now, I got a shower and a bathroom and I can just walk over and use it. So I probably won't hook up all the plumbing and those kind of things, but that's probably one of the most important things if you're trying to winterize and live inside of the winter um, inside of a camper, an RV, a converted van, is if you have a water system, you have to make sure you insulate your water storage or your water pipes and make sure those things do not burst on you uh, make sure, because usually those things freeze up and just get solid and you can't use them. Um, so you gotta consider that because you don't want pipes and things to crack and burst, but that's probably another subject for another time. This is just my journey. This is the things I'm doing. So uh, let, yeah, let's keep going. I'll keep showing you guys some of the projects and what we got going on. Thanks so much for joining. You guys rock and let's go. All right guys, so the other day when I picked up the spice rack, I it was at a garage sale. So I also lumped in this for the price I paid for that. So I basically got this knife for free and I really love cooking and I love juicing and I love vegetables and just the whole, artistic process of making a beautiful meal and um, I just love food so uh, you know this is a really cool knife it's got some wear to it and I would love to put a custom handle on this but for right now what I'm gonna do I don't have time for that so we might do that later um, I have too many artistic projects I'm doing so I'm just gonna take some sandpaper because the handles pretty beat up I'm gonna sand the handle just really going to scrape off all that old dirt and grime and crap that's been sitting on there. And yeah, I'm definitely going to put a new handle on this thing later. But I like this knife. I just like the feel of it. It'd be really easy to put a new handle on it. And I'm going to wash this really good after I'm done with it too. But it's extremely dull. Good thing I just happen to have a scissor stone. I'm gonna call that good enough for now. Wash it up, use it. I'll work on this later when I have more time to do it. But for now, that'll be good enough. Yeah, I don't know why little things like this make me happy, but if you look at that, that's awesome, all these knives. I probably sound like a weird creepy killer guy or something, but I really do enjoy cooking and I love a good knife, especially a sharp knife. I'm gonna have to work on that one a whole lot more though. And just being able to put together creative meals and eat healthy, and so that makes me really happy. I got some uh, cucumbers here. These are pretty cool, like fresh out of my mom's garden. And she hooks me up with all these vegetables, like organic and awesome. These things are great, but these are really cool. Might as well show you guys this while we're on this whole food conversation. This is a lemon cucumber and it just tastes like a really good cucumber. And, but I've never seen these things before. And then she picks them and was like, here, try these. I was like, wow, that's awesome. How cool is that, huh? So, cool. All right, guys, to the next project. Muhahaha. <laughs> Otter, say something profound. Tell the world a secret that changes the world for the better. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh it's over here. It's over here, Otter. He said, no, I wanna go. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just put a fire on because it is cold outside, and so I'm waiting for that to heat everything up, and I am going to come up into the bed here, little otter, and I'm gonna take some of these hanging lights. I got like these chili pepper hanging lights that my sister gave me, and I think I'm gonna move them to another spot in the tiny home just to create cool ambience, but I really like those other hanging lights, the blue ones that are up there. I don't know if you can see it at this angle, but I'll show you. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those to bring down the chili peppers and bring them over to this other spot. Good boy. See, these guys. I think that that looks a lot better with those other lights there. So I'm gonna hang these up in a different part of the tiny home. If I can find something to kind of tack 
them onto the wall with. All right, guys, look at what I just found. If you can see those well. They're white, so they're gonna look good. And they're the hooks. I bought these a while ago, I forgot I had them, was digging through my tools. Glad I did. Ran out to my car, grabbed this little pick, and it makes a hole perfect in the wall so I can get this thing started real easy. These little hooks, works out nice. Okay, we got the chili pepper lights up. Is this necessary for like winterizing it? No and yes. I just wanted you guys to see what I'm doing for me to be able to be in here, spend time, because one of the dynamics that people don't talk about a lot when it comes to this kind of living is you gotta keep your spirits up. And I love chilies. <laughs> I love them a lot. I love all kinds of ghost pepper to habanero. I cook with habaneros all the time. And it's just nice to have on, kind of switches it up. And when I'm in here for hours and hours and hours and days and days and days and months and months and months, kind of stationary, it's really nice to have little things like this. I plan to bring like LED strips that you can change all kinds of colors and stuff all around through here, but that's in the future. So for now, this is the, the free thing that was given to me that I can just put up and it will help hopefully create a little bit of um, positivity and and uh, just cheer, I guess you can say, for the lack of better terminology. Uh, it's important, those kind of things are important. I think that's tight. And this is, this is the area where I'm gonna be doing massive painting and creativity. So I want this area to be creative and unique and different because I sit right here and I paint and uh, so my point is to have this area kind of cool and creative is going to be nice. Man, that wood stove is so warm. Let me open this for you and show you. Woo! Thing is fiery. All right, everybody. So it's a new day and otters extra cute this morning. I've been up and at it for a while today, talking with a bunch of people about flipping some stuff, making money, doing what I do. And... Um, Took a shower, made my tea, warmed up some sweet potatoes, and went and worked out for a while. Put him outside, let him wander around, those kind of things. Uh, oh, do you want to go outside and lay in the sun? Oh, he does. Okay, buddy, I'll let you out. So right now we're going to go clean some stuff and get on some projects. I need to get that truck cab cleaned out pretty quick here. I need that storage space and I got a bunch of garbage I got to throw away in there. So I want to get that done ASAP. And I got a few other things I got to do today. I got some stuff stored in a friend's storage that I need to pull out of there. <clears throat> and um, and some small tasks like that in between the rest of what I'm doing. So uh, we'll get done what we can today. And hopefully I will be pulling out the wood stove soon as well and showing you guys how I prep the wood stove. Like I was going to just, like I said in the first video, burn it a little bit and see if it was good enough, but it looks like they're going to be using it quite a bit this winter. So because of that, I think I should pull it all the way out and take it apart and show you guys how I prep it for the winter. And so in the context of using a $30 wood stove off of offer up that I bought. So <laughs> it's, it's good though. It works out good. It just, you know, there's some work that goes into, you know, right before the winter, making sure everything's um, tight and sealed and good to go. So, and clean. That's another important one because I got the bend in the pipe, so I need to make sure it's clean. So, all right, let's get on this day and see how much we can get done, right, bud? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me show you this uh, project here. I got boots. I got a big thing of trash already in here. A huge rice cooker whole bunch of tools and crap so I need to clean this out ASAP get this storage area opened up so I can put stuff in here but it's nice and neat and ready to go if I ever need to drive away or whatever I'm ready to go so really important stuff to get this done right away so let's get on it guys
Behold, a lonely traveler, a wild woolly, hanging out by the garbage. All right, you guys, we got it good enough. This right here, I'm gonna sell an offer up, so that will be going away soon, but got my boots right over here, and got some lights that I use for photography, some tools underneath that, some empty boxes, my cooler, some wood chips. And all right, so what's next is going to be to come through here and start cleaning up all of this mess, because it's very messy, and it's gonna make this place look a lot better just to have this cleaned up. And once again, this is opening up this whole area for me to be able to start doing my artwork. And that's so, so important. I got some books that are coming out, children's books, and some paintings I have to get done right away. So I'm really excited to be able to clean up this area and get it organized a little bit better. And um, that way I can get my paintings and my art supplies and my all of that stuff put together kind of in this area when I set up for painting. and. Um, you know, set stuff on this little shelf here and paint away and shoot some videos for you guys. It's going to be cool. Some good painting videos coming up. So, yeah, let's clean. That looks good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be functionable, you know, get the job done. And I think that's gonna get the job done, so cool. I really can't wait to pour these counters and get everything looking how it's supposed to look, but for now, you know what? I'm very thankful for as far of it as I've gotten. It could be a whole lot worse. Alright you guys, I got a little bit too much footage on part 3, so we are going to have a part 4 of this video series, and in part 4 I'm going to put all the footage of me taking apart the wood stove, resealing it, putting it together, so if you would like to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and the bell notification next to it so you're notified when part 4 comes out. Thank you so much for watching my video, my YouTube channel, I deeply appreciate it, and I want to also give a huge thanks to Crystal Spirit for sponsoring my YouTube channel. If you guys are into rocks, minerals, and crystals, you'll love checking out their shop. I got a link to their website in the description below. You're more than welcome to check that out. And inside their shop, I actually have a bunch of my sculptures displayed if you guys would like to check those out. And if you tell them that Will Brown sent you, you get 10% off discount. So huge thanks goes out to Crystal Spirit. And once again, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all my Patreons. You guys make such a difference in these early days when I'm scrambling to do 50 different things, constantly learning, juggling a whole bunch of stuff, trying to work and trying to have free time to paint and to do everything. Everything else that I'm doing, your giving makes a huge difference. So thank you for supporting and um, giving to Will Brown Art. Thank you guys. And on that same note, I just want to invite the public to check out my children's books. I'm a children's book author. I love writing children's books. I love that I get to impact the next generation. And I got some links to my Patreon and my children's books um, in the description below. You're more than welcome to check those out out and it would help out a lot and so i appreciate you guys thanks so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time on will brown art say goodbye buddy can you give the wave the wave of a dog the dog wave <laughs> all right guys i'll see you later i'm gonna finish up this video good boy